the potential of our moment is to recognize the impotence of the tools and ways of seeing that we've used to try to dominate the world, dominate nature, dominate the body. And if we can admit that failure, then there's a possibility, then there's a possibility of, of miracle level healing <clears throat> on this earth. Because actually none of our problems, whether they are social, ecological, or physiological, are that difficult to solve. All of the real pandemics of our time, such as autoimmunity, allergies. I mean, if you dip into the world of alternative medicine, herbs and homeopathy and energy medicine and down the line, then pretty much every disease we're told is incurable is actually curable and, not, and, and, and relatively cheaply. And I could say the same for land healing um, practices, regenerative agriculture, um, the restoration of rivers and, and estuaries and harbors. Like it's not hard when we turn our attention to that and see our role in that healing as a matter of participation rather than domination. You ally yourself with the soil. You ally yourself with um, the, the, the ecosystem, with all of the species. You maybe bring in beavers to help restore water systems. Uh, and the same thing with the holistic approach to physical health. You don't see the body as a wayward machine. You understand that it has, the body has a natural tendency toward wholeness. How do I support that? How do I align with that? How do I provide that extra little bit of missing information that's required for that to happen? So, yeah, so, so like I, I, I just want to inject that uh, ray of hope into dark times that, that as we step into a new story, a story of interbeing, of interconnection, of wholeness, of ecology, of relationality, then so much more becomes possible. <clears throat>